Mm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome to Lord of the Rings. We are up to the very last quest of the corset, Escape from Gold Gold Door. And this is a pretty misunderstood quest. Uh, I'll talk about it as I set up, but one of the things about this quest is that because of the way the quest is designed, you've really got to do a strict setup, which means technically you choose your first player, then you draw your heroes, then you draw your cards, then you decide your mulligans, and then you set up the quest. And in most quests, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry about if you can hear that. There's a guy chopping a tree down outside, but I've only got so much time, so I'm going to do the video anyway. But yeah, so this quest has a lot of cards that will discard things from your hands and all that kind of stuff. You actually don't even get your resources until the beginning of the turn, so they should all be zero. Anyway, let's have a look at our mulligan options. Okay, this is pretty good. We've got a tracker and we've got a steward, so we've got a very good opening hand here. Over here, we have our Song of Wisdom. We've also got a Song of Spirit. So this is also a pretty damn good hand as well, so I'm actually going to keep this as well. So I'm going to pass on both those mulligans. And then I'll just hit the setup button and we'll set up the quest. Okie dokily. The Lady Galadriel of Lorien has asked you to investigate the area in the vicinity of Dol Gold Door. While doing so, one of your allies was ambushed by orcs, captured, and is now held in a dungeon cell. Search the encounter deck with three objective cards and place them in the staging area. So that's basically what we've done. It also says to place a Nazgul down here. I'll talk about him when we get to him. He's nasty. So these are just normal guarded objectives. The way you claim these particular ones is to raise your threat by two at action speed. Now we'll just quickly check these out. None of these have surge or anything. This one whiffs because deal one to each exhausted character. We have no exhausted characters. So this one is actually unguarded. Okay, you blam. Okay, so this basically says you randomly select one hero and he is a prisoner. But interestingly, he doesn't go out of play. He stays in play, he's just a prisoner. And that's important because there's a couple of condition attachments that can attach to your hero in the opening setup. Like if that was an attachment, like caught in the web or something, it wouldn't go away because he's not actually out of play. So we'll grab all our heroes. And while I'm just shuffling these guys, I'll just talk about the quest itself because people really misunderstand this quest, I think. What have we got? Eowyn, man, we lose Eowyn. She is a big time quester, so that's going to be a real issue for us. And that's the issue with this quest, playing single player, is that single player decks, by definition, kind of have to... They kind of have to do it all, you know what I mean? They've got to do everything, so they're always multicolored, which means... Well, they were all multicolored until well late into the card pool. You can get away with single player decks now that are completely mono. But the point is that the captured hero really disrupts most decks, makes them not function very well. But when you're playing multiplayer, it actually plays a lot easier because one of your deck pools always work perfectly normally. So it's a lot easier with multiplayer, this quest. And it's a great example of what I always say, is that this is a game that's actually a two-player game that you can also play other player counts. The quests are just balanced very differently for when you're running two quests. So this is a quest, Escape from Gold Door, Gold Door or whatever, that a lot of people hate because it's so hard in inverted commas. But if you play it with two decks it actually becomes very manageable and it's not actually that hard because it's balanced for two decks. Still, uh, let's get into it. Uh, I think we're ready to start. The only other information on this card is that you can only play one ally around and you cannot advance this stage until we actually capture a uh, objective card, which will, we want to get this one. 
It's going to go to suck because we have the Hummer horns. So we're going to have to kill him with a Gandalf. We have no other way of getting Hummer horns. That's actually going to be a real issue for us. I didn't think of that. Because this guy will... We've got a couple of Fortune Fate. So if we dig out a Fortune Fate, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's uh, draw a card and get started. Okay, so let's play one resource and put out this guy. That's our ally for the turn. Let's also pay one resource and put out a song on our law guy here. So we now have two resources. And I think I'm going to just stay like that. And I think I'll also just spend, I think I'll do, I think that's all I'll do for now. So pretty slow start. We're gonna quest for a lowly uh, four. There's already four in the staging area. Your blammo, two damage to someone questing. So I'm gonna go one damage and threat up by one using Frodo's ability. And let's draw again, and we're negative four. Wow, that is horrible. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be very difficult without good old Eowyn. Okay, so this guy will attack down here. We'll defend with you. We'll flip this over. No shadow effect, attack for three. This guy is killed, and we get what do we get? We get, uh, oops, one, two, three. Three tokens. Uh, not three tokens, only one token, beg your pardon. Two tokens, I can think. Kill an Emily, place two tokens. Sorry, I get confused because often I put Goldie and Blade on him. Okay, so that was a nice opening volley. Not good. Let's draw. Okay, so we're going to spend two and place out our steward, which we then tap to get that two back. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and place out our tracker, which is one of the most powerful cards around. I don't know how well this has stood up to the later quests, but in the early game, like the first couple of expansions, this is just ridiculously strong. So we're gonna quest with all these guys again. Over here, we're gonna spend one and place out this song. I think I'm going to quest with Boromir as well. It gives us six, which isn't much, but we do get a progress token on each of these locations. And this one actually only needs one progress token, so it's instantly cleared. You blam, you blam. This says add X threat, where X is the number of players. So that's just another two token so a negative two one two one two horrible okay let's draw again come on we need a Gandalf ASAP okie dokie let's uh let me have a look here we'll tap you and get two resources I'm just going to quickly check the uh, planning phase. Yeah, so you resolve the planning phase in turn order. So I can't actually cast a draw card spell before this guy plays. So I just want to see if I want to do another. I probably do. I've got another tracker I could put out straight away. But I think I'll put out this guy, so we could really badly need that questing power. So, 
four, six, and yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two resources and put out this guy. That's our one character for the turn. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, and greetings on this guy to minus six threat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go quest, quest, quest. And that only gives us five quests, but this guy gets a token and this guy gets a token. Oh no, oh that's the Hammerhorn. Sorry, I thought we forgot to engage someone. Anyway, so this is one quote quest token to clear, and this is two to clear. And that's the tracker doing his thing. And now we're plus four. So draw. Choose an exhausted character we control. Let's exhaust this guy and draw. We choose a character. First player chooses a character questing to deal two damage. So I'll put two damage on the tracker. Okay, so we are going to, this guy's got the highest threat, right? This guy's 20 and this guy's 10. So we need to optionally engage the spider and then naturally engage the other orc. Okay, so this guy gets a card. This guy gets a card. Then we're going to defend with this bloke. And flip that over. Discard one attachment from the defending character. Not the defending player, the defending character. This guy has no attachments, so that's done. But he does, even though this guy attacks with three, he defends at four, but we're going to let him die. So he dies, which readies this guy like that. Because his ability says, after a character leaves play, ready the prince. And this is a hugely powerful ability that I love. Everyone seems to hate this guy, but I think he is freaking awesome. But anyway, so uh, that's that. He's readied. I'm now going to defend against this orc. Two damage, two defense, no wounds. And then this guy is going to go three, four, five versus this guy, and we only need four to kill, so that's killed. And then this guy is gonna attack with ranged over here and kill this guy for three, so he is dead. And that's gonna give us another two progress tokens. Okay, come on Gandalf. Still no Gandalf. One, two. I'm going to spend one token and place out this guy as our guy for the turn. We're going to always quest with this guy, even though he's got zero quest. Just so we have someone to take damage from those orcs. And I think we're going to leave the rest there. So we've already played one of our characters. So I'm going to go one, two, and play out this thing. That gives us two extra will. And I'm also going to go one, and play out this thing. Each character, each person draws a card. Oh, finally, excellent. That range, we want that. And we get a Gandalf, excellent. And we've got sneak attack still. Okay, so let's quest. I'm just going to move this guy over here so I remember to quest with him. No, I better not because I might think to block with him. 
Okay, bam, that gives us six. Your blammo. We have to choose and exhaust a character we control. Let's exhaust Boromir. This guy has no one to exhaust. And your blammo. Oh, look at that. Wounds on everybody. So that is one threat for Frodo. This guy is actually killed. Which reduces our threat by one. Reduces our quest by one. But... Well, there's no, no locations. And this guy gets a wound. This guy is killed, which readies this guy. And this guy gets a wound. Oh, nasty. Okay, so this guy is going to attack. I'm going to spend one and sneak attack Gandalf. Put four wounds on our hammer horns up here. And then I'm going to tap him to defend against this bloke. Four defense and three attacks. So that's no damage. We then go attack, attack. That's three, four, five damage, which is enough to kill him. So all these cards are discarded. And we get another two tokens. Oops. Come here. So we're at six progress now. Bam and yablam. Okay, so let's tap you, we get one, two. We're gonna go one, two, three. Cast this and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Meanwhile, over here, it's actually his first turn. We're gonna go minus one and place out the blade. Gives him plus one attack versus orcs as well. And over here, I guess we're going to go one, two, three. Oh, let's just go one, two. Oh, wait, no, actually. So it was one, two. Yeah, so I'm going to actually go, go one, two and place out the ranged attack on him. Okay, so requesting pretty low at the moment. Pick up. Oh, we've got nothing in the staging area though. So that's fine. Let's draw. Bam, we have two damage come down. We'll put that two damage on. Let's put it on you. And the next one, we're still plus two. We're now at eight progress, we need nine to beat this. Players cannot draw cards if we're the active player. I don't really care about drawing cards next turn. Bam, and we'll get this guy to attack. We'll block with you. Oh, man. Race threat by four. One, two, three, four. And attack with you. That kills him. And that is another two progress tokens. One, two from his ability. But one progress token from this guy. which uh, completes that. So this is discarded. And now in the action phase, at the end of the turn, I'm going to raise my threat by two to take Gandalf's map. And I'll attach that to Frodo. 
it's restricted yeah so attaching that to Frodo and now that I've got one see the bottom bit now that I've got one objective and I've got nine tokens this will instantly resolve so quests always instantly resolve as soon as they can so by taking that I resolve the quest out of turn so that's done Finding a hidden entrance to the dungeons of Dol Guldur, at last, you attempt to make your way through the caverns beneath the hill, searching for your imprisoned friend. The desertants of this labyrinth stand in your way while the jailers protect the prisoner. Okay, so this is all just basically saying as soon as we place a single token on this quest, we get our prisoner back, and that will also release the Nazgul. Now, we are not ready for the Nazgul yet because we still haven't drawn our uh, Burning Brand. Still, let's uh, refresh and draw. Okay, this is not good. We don't want to overquest here. I'm just going to go bam, bam for questing. I think I'm going to go bam, one, two. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to go one, two. Place out this guy. That's just questing for five. It's pretty low. Might not be. Might be not be low enough. But we'd rather complete this out of the quest order. Like, bam. Okay, that's annoying. I'll attach that to you. And bam, four. So we get four progress tokens. So that was a, a bust. Three, four. We get our Aowen back along with a health point. And let's just grab another resource token for her. And this also gets added to the staging area. And we are at 40 threat, so he will attack. This isn't good. So, I'm going to have this guy attack down here, and this guy will attack down here. So he gets a shadow card, he gets a shadow card. We're going to Tap him to defend. Nothing. Two damage, two defense. We're going to tap this guy to defend. Flip. Choose and discard one attachment you control, not attached to the character. Going to get rid of Blade of Gondolin again. And force, after a shadow effect resolves, discard a character. So we get rid of this guy which does ready the prince. And then we attack for three, six, nine. Remember, because we've got ranged on him now, which puts six wounds on this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, and this guy also gets one wound. I'm going to go one, two, three, and place out this healer. Tap that and heal. I won't tap that yet. I'm also going to go... Oh, actually, I'm definitely not going to do that. One, two, three. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Place out this guy. I need someone to feed to the Nazgul. 
Still, I can't believe, where are all my other tactics cards? Meanwhile, over here, let's tap you and get one, two. We've already put out one of our allies. So I'm going to go one. So everyone draws a card. Okay. I'm also going to go, what have we got in here? Let's put out another one of these guys. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and cast stand and fight to get the tracker out of the graveyard and play it. And that's a way you can actually get around the limit of one ally a turn because, you know, you've actually uh, used stand and fight, which isn't a normal play. Okay, so we're going to go quest and quest and quest. And that is a lowly seven. Oh, wait, that's right. We're questing with Eowyn again. That's why we're so high. Oh, that's fine. Bam. And you blam. That's doomed one. Okay, so. May as well travel. Let's get this guy to... Where are we going to get this guy to attack? We'll have to have him attack down here. Okay, show a card. Shadow card. Shadow card. Once again, we defend with this guy. Flip it. No shadow effect. Damn. Oh, it doesn't matter. We forgot to quest with him anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's, uh, oh, I forgot to have to pay, I had to pay two off this guy to untap him at the beginning of the turn. So I would have done that. This guy flips over. He's defending at two. This is under, oh, we've got a guy here to defend. Let's go boom. Flip this over, he's attacking at two, defending at two, that's still no damage, excellent. Okay, now we go three, six, seven, eight, that guy's actually got two attack on him. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's five wounds. So he now has 11 wounds, which is definitely enough to kill him. So we could actually take three of those wounds off, right? Wait, it has that. So let me start it. How did this work out? He has three, right? So we did nine attempt, nine attack, which is six wounds. Okay, and we need another three wounds, so we need to attack him for six. So that's three, four, five. I would only put two wounds on him, so yeah, we need to attack with him. And that puts another three wounds on him. And that is nine wounds, and he's dead. Whatever, we do kill him, and we also get uh, two progress tokens on here. And that's that. Now, we can't actually untap this guy because you haven't got enough resources. So, let's draw. Okay, so 
still kind of stuffed here. I guess I'm going to go one, two, play out mine of the iron hills and clear this. Mine of the iron hills discards conditions attachments. And I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and play out this and the greeting. So the tomb, tomb, you spend one and get it out of the graveyard and then three to actually cast it and drop this guy step by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And do I have anything else in here I might want to bring out? Nope. And we're going to go bam, bam, bam. And flip, that gives us seven. Now this guy here gets one progress token to the, st to the location every time he taps. Oops, so uh, problem with my script here that I need to fix before the next version. Yeah, so there was two progress tokens. The third progress token was placed by the guy and that is discarded. So we're still plus seven. One, that gives plus two threat. This one says, raise your threat by X, where X is number of players, and another location. So we're plus three. One, two, three. I have to figure out what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, this is discarded. And now we just have to deal with all these guys. Okay, so we still have no. Well, I tap you. Two damage, two defense, nothing. This is undefended. Resolve the wed revealed effect. So this just goes on top of the deck to stop us drawing. He's attacking for two, and we're going to place the wounds on Frodo so our threat goes up by two. And then I'm going to attack for three over here and just kill this guy. Oh, that guy had doomed as well. I don't know if I counted that. It's all just doomed. And that gives us another one, two. Okay, so that's nine progress tokens. We need 15. That's really frustratingly annoying how that's doing that. Just going to stick them up there for now just until I fix that. This is a work in progress, this mod. I'm still getting it working. Basically, I, li I, I, I like to just chuck things and have them snap so I don't have to be so careful with my movements. But uh, for some reason, it's because it's, it's sitting on top of the quest cards. Uh, anyway, I'll figure it out. Okay, so, you blamo, draw a card. This guy draws the shackles, so let's get rid of that. So there's six cards in the encounter deck. One, two. So that next necromancer is definitely coming out soon. Look at this, we still have... What is going on with all our tactics cards? None of them are showing up. Okay, I think I'm going to go, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. He can't actually cast anything. That is useless. Let's tap you and go one, two. Let's go one, two, three, four, and place out another tracker. And we'll just go, you blammo, you blammo, you blammo, you blammo. Uh, yeah. So let's draw one card. 
another one of these guys and draw one of another card. Ah, and there is the last one. So that is bam, bam. He gets one threat. No one here is tapped. This guy has two wounds, so he's fine. Damn it. I like to finish the next stage before this card flips up, so I don't have to deal with that Nazgul again. Okay, so we're going to optionally engage this guy over here. We need eight to kill this guy, so that's six, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to tap this guy to defend, no I'm not, I'm going to tap this guy to defend this, attacks with two, defends with three, no damage, I'm going to tap, tap this guy to defend from here, attacks for two, defends at two, no damage, I'm then going to go Range three, six, seven, eight, and that kills this guy. And I'm going to go three, four, five, six, which puts three wounds on this guy. We also get two. Progress tokens. I was confused for a sec because I couldn't find any progress tokens, but they're up back here because there's an error in my mod. And blammo. Oh man, this is having real mana screw on this one. Okay, bam bam. So let's go one, two, and place out this guy. And we, we no longer have to fear the Necromancer's Pass because all of them have come out. So we'll just quest with everybody now. Try and actually get past this stage. And over here, we're kind of stuck for things to do. I guess I'll, I've already played a, a, an ally. So let's draw, draw a card and draw a card. Okay, all locations. So that's plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're at 18 progress, which is actually enough to pass here. So we've basically won the game. So what we're gonna do is grab these things. So this one here says, raise your threat by two to claim. At the end of the round, raise your threat by two. So if I claim this one, I'll put it on Boromir. We'll put our threat up by four, one, two, three, four. And then this one is raise your threat by two and get one damage. So we'll put this one on you. And that's another one, two. And now we have passed this stage. And we have ready to go. Following the thread of sunlight, you discover a cavern opening leading out through the side of the hill. Stationed outside the cavern mouth, however, is a large group of orcs. Okay. So basically what this says is that we have to kill the Nazgul before we finish this stage. And at the beginning of every quest phase, we have to fight a 1-1 one, one creature. Or we have to add a 1-1-1 one, one, one creature to our engagement area. Let's see that in action in a sec. This shouldn't be too much of an issue because... I mean, we have a ton of quest power. We should be able to finish it this turn. 
Okay, so let's refresh and draw cards. Oh, we've got Fortune's Fate, nice. Okay, so tap one, two. Let's go. Okay, what do we want over here? We want to cast this guy. We only need two resources. So that's fine. Oh wait, and the the restriction of one character per turn is gone, which is pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cast this, move any number of resource tokens from one hero to another who is a law hero. And I'm going to move, how many do we need? We need six. Uh, no, we need three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Then I'm going to go one, two, three. This guy got another wound at the end of that turn, remember, from here. I'm going to place out a heal, which I will then tap to heal these two wounds. I'll also go one, two, three, and place out a heal on her and heal those two wounds. I'll also go one, two, three and place out a son of Andor. I'll also go one, two and place out this guy. There's a small error here because I can only tap Steward of Gondor during my turn sequence. So if I actually tap it now and then I take resources off it. So that's a little out of order. All I do with those resources is play a character that I don't even use. So it makes no difference to the actual final result. And that's the end of his turn. Then over here, I'm just going to go one, two, and place out this bloke. Now at the start of my quest phase, I have to pull the first card off our decks and that's a one, one, one creature. Okay, so I'm going to go quest, 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 and quest. I'll also quest this guy as well. You know what, I think I'll leave for... Two, three, two. Is there anyone else in here? Nope. I'm going to leave her unquesting. Okay, so we have a whopping 15 quest. We have two trackers. So that is this guy's discarded. This guy's discarded. And this guy gets two tokens. And let's reset the deck. So as long as we don't draw the Nazgul, I'll be happy. One, two, excellent. So that is two threat into the staging area from this card. And we're plus nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've actually passed the quest. That is it. 
So we've won the game, but I like to just keep playing until just to see if I can clear the board, which I should be able to do with all this. So this guy, this is discarded. This guy gets a card, then this guy gets a card, and this guy gets a card. Okay, so we defend against this one with this bloke, and he does one damage after he de declares a defender. This guy only has one damage, because he's a 1-1-1 one, one, one creature with one hit point, so he's killed. And then this guy, I'll just defend with you, Blip. he gets plus one, this guy is killed, that readies the prince, this guy has three wounds, we need to put in another two, so we'll just go three, four, five, three defense, so he is now also dead. We'll defend this person, your blam. Kills her. And then we'll just go attack with the prince and kill him. And that, my friends, is Escape from Gold Gold Door. The seemingly impossible quest, which isn't that impossible. Now, our deck really didn't function particularly well. We had a huge mana shortage. Uh, there's actually a, a huge amount of uh, tactics cards in here. They're, 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 they're all of those tactic cards. There was the Burning Brand that we never got. Look at all the tactics cards are at the end here. It might, look at them all. <laughs> it might be prudent to put maybe a couple of tactic songs in, just in case we ever need to put tactic songs on these guys. I might do that before I publicize the deck. And speaking of publicized decks, as always, when I release the mod, the decks that I use in these videos will be available in the mod. So, if you can think of a good name for the decks, why don't you let me know? So I like to have a name for the deck as a combined name. So this would be the Blah Blah deck, and that's the set of decks, and then each deck needs its own name. So you've seen them running, I'll pick a name from the people that bothered to do it. <laughs> Only one person named the last deck. But anyway, I will see you guys next time for the hunt for Gollum. See ya.